It's Crawl Space Encounters. All right, we got ourselves another one. We're gonna check this one out. Another absolutely gorgeous day in sunny South Carolina. Absolutely fantastic day. Um, we are going to get into this crawl space and see what is going on. Once again, we are going without knowing what's in there. So we're gonna cruise together and enjoy the experience and find out what's happening. So this is unedited. So if I screw up saying something, comment and make fun of me. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in there. Well, welcome back here. Let's go. Let's get this door open if we can. <laughs> the grass is growing over it. That's a heavy door. And of course, we have a water heater just sitting waiting on us there. So this house, uh, this crawl space actually looks uh, encapsulated. Um, got a nice thick poly. Got some poly going up the wall. So that's pretty cool. Got the water heater. Obviously, the water heater was installed before the encapsulation so they kind of just taped around the base of it of course insulation is on the ground if you encapsulate your crawl space i'd highly recommend just get rid of the insulation you don't need it uh well, you just don't need it this wow this vent uh should be sealed off remember you got a running dehumidifier down there last thing you need is air to be getting in humid air and that dehumidifier is going to be running day and night we haven't even checked to see I can hear a dehumidifier, but we haven't really taken a look at it. This insulation's got to go. When you have an encapsulated crawl space, I highly recommend just get rid of the insulation. You don't need it. All right. Definitely got a leak somewhere. Uh, somewhat clear. Could be the condensation pump. Why do we have two pipes going into the condensation pump? Oh, look at that. That's nasty. It's all full of sludge. Those things have to be cleaned out. Uh, you know, get rid of that. This, this one's coming from the dehumidifier, and this one's coming from the HVAC. You can see the sludge at the bottom of that pipe. So why is the HVAC and the and the dehumidifier sharing the same condensation pump? I, I don't know. Usually the HVAC right there has its own little condensation pump. You don't need to run a 10-foot PVC. It looks like it's going somewhat up the hill. Uh, gravity's not helping this thing right here. Mm -mm. Nice HVAC. Looks somewhat new. You can tell it was... <clears throat> leaking a bunch of water it's it's definitely going up the hill so that's not that's not good uh, everything is gravity fed there's water coming from the AC that's dripping into there and then you've got water coming from this dehumidifier I'm familiar with this guy this is a older Santa Fe brand. Um, let me get these spider webs out of here. Uh, I'm not sure if this dehumidifier is leaking. I see some water. Um, so it's 75% humidity down here. That's not good. It's probably detecting that moisture. That's trying to evaporate right there where that puddle was. And it's detecting it. Or the dehumidifier is just not working right. But we've got a leak somewhere here. I can, uh... There's a water puddle over here. And the leak is coming from right up there. You can see the PVC pipe. The plumbing pipe right there has got some water droplets underneath it. Yeah, there's something going on. Yeah, I'm just trying to position myself here better. So there's water coming down through that insulation. That could be uh, 
bathroom area. Not too sure, but they definitely need to get a plumber out there. Mm -mm. Man, I've been finding a lot of plumbing pipes busted. Toilets leaking. Shower. I see another vent uncovered. Wow, why, why is that going? What, I mean, what's going on here? I don't get it. You 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 seal you encapsulate a crawl space, put a dehumidifier in it. You've got to seal this puppy up, man. It's like running the air conditioning with all the windows open. Not gonna work out too well. These duct lines are huge, so not a lot of airflow can go back and forth underneath this crawl space. So I, I can understand why. Gotta get that spider web off the lens. Um, why they encapsulated it, some mildew. The encapsulation looks, you know, looks pretty decent. So this, this, right, that whole area right here, the HVAC, has been dripping water. That should have just a little PVC pipe coming out on an angle right into the condensation pump, from the condensation pump down the hill which would be towards the front of the house the opposite side of where that pipe went that's exactly where that's got to go <sighs> insulation just falling down everywhere just get rid of it man god i you know i don't care what anybody says i'm not a fan of insulation in the crawl space in my region you know you're somewhere in the north you need it because it's freaking freezing up there you know i get it but here you don't. You don't. You don't need it. Uh, snakes, chipmunks, mice, rats, whatever. They get up in these crawl spaces, and they, you know, that's where they chill. That's where they hang out. On top of that, the installers don't put enough hangers on them to keep them secure. You can see that one right there, just just leaning, leaning down. Something crawled up in it and put a little weight on it, and it just collapsed. Uh, you know, and, so, and more people are getting, you know, they're starting to get it. They're removing it. They're, you know, I, I see some people using spray foam. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Um, it's hard to do an inspection. It's hard to detect leaks with the spray foam. And also you got to check with your termite company. A lot of termite companies won't bond your house if you have spray foam in between your floor joists. Because it's inaccessible areas, uh, they can't do a proper inspection. Yeah, I saw a little bit of sawdust on that insulation, so I'm actually looking for uh, some beetles. Beetles do a very talc-like frass. And uh, I don't see any holes from any beetles, so... Look at this, insulation just flaking off. You hire a company to do an encapsulation, just ask them what they're going to charge you extra, you know, how much they're going to charge you extra to remove the insulation. You just, you just don't need it. It just, and, and on top of that, all that fiberglass is just floating around. That duck line right there, looks like people have been hurtling over it. Look, another vent down there at the end, not covered. So the humidity... All that air coming right through, keeping that dehumidifier running. And that dehumidifier is one of the older ones. That model came out a little bit. You know, this is a dead little buddy. Uh, that model came out a while back. So dehumidifiers are one of those units that, man, you better keep the maintenance on it. Uh, make sure you, you, you send away for the warranty. If a company gives you some kind of a warranty deal, Take it uh, this way because uh, those things break down. They break down fast. Uh, I've I've just seen a you know I've probably seen maybe a, a 10, 12 different kinds of dehumidifiers and crawl spaces, and some are good and some are bad. You get either a Monday or a Friday one. Actually, these are more like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday units. Uh, 
I've seen brand new ones fall apart. I mean, but then again, I've seen some units, you know, they last a while. Like this brown one, I, you know, I'm not too sure if it's working. The humidity, the relative humidity on that sensor was reading 75. Not a very hot day today. Um, but it could be also detecting that, that water, that water leak. That's such a beautiful encapsulation. You've got this insulation just, just falling down. You know, whether somebody did some work, kind of took the insulation down and did some kind of work. A lot of uh, contractors just leave their debris behind, leave their mess because, you know, they uh, they don't freaking care. Well, I mean, what do you want me to tell you? I see it all the time. I've seen a guy remodel an entire bathroom upstairs. They had a beautiful encapsulation downstairs and it. They just threw all the tile. They threw everything downstairs and made a huge pile. Somebody went over that duck line and just crushed it. Yeah, I suggest when you have somebody crawling around the cross, uh, squeeze my butt through there. You know, Tom, to watch your duck work, man. Don't crush them. There's a leak. We're going to have to figure out where that's coming from. That sucks, man. This is like the third plumbing leak I've seen in one week. One house, I just I just did a video. Man, every bathroom, every pipe, water heater pipe, everything had a water leak. So I'm going, I'm, look, another vent uncovered. That is crazy. So... Here we go. Through this foundation wall, looks like water is somehow seeping through and resting on the foundation. Look at that. That's uh, that's already some dried up water. That's some water there, but you can tell this. There was a lot of water here at one point. I know last week we had a ton of a ton of water. Those pipes weren't leaking. They're about. They're going to leak. You can see the. <laughs> you can see all that corrosive Ugh. it's not a fan man yeah this was all this is all water and it's it's dried up to a point there's some standing water right there it's all coming through the foundation so even with an encapsulated house you know so they run they they basically run the plastic on the walls first and they kind of drape it down and they when they encapsulate a house and then they just when they're done doing that they they nail it and they glue it most companies do that and then they actually they drape it down and then they run the bottom cover over it and then they tape that seam so if you got a lot of water getting in yeah, another vent uncovered crazy um you know uh, yeah the water is going to loosen up that tape even though it's a very strong tape and it's it's going to manage its way uh, into the crawl space. And now you have standing water. And now you're going to have to have a dehumidifier. Try to dry that out for you. And all you're doing is making that dehumidifier run day and night to try to assist on what's going on. That's crazy. Yeah, you, you want to help that system out as much as you can. Yeah, here's a here's a shell. A little 22. And that's probably from that ram set. Yeah, they shot the plastic to the foundation wall to hold it in. And it does, it grips. That plastic's not going anywhere, especially if you've got some washers. There's something chewing through that tape right there. That's crazy. So once again, chipmunks, mice, you name it, they're going to find their way in there. And they're going to crawl, get up in that insulation, and just start nesting and having a good old time. One condensation pump for the dehumidifier in the HVAC system. Not good. Water heater in the crawl space. Who knows what's going to happen to that guy. At least it's, uh, it's encapsulated. Uh, this guy is... I don't know. We'll find out. Look at that. No cover on that vent. Seen a lot worse this week. 
still some things in this crawl space that uh, homeowners you need to be aware of this buyers sellers whoever you own a crawl space these are the things you got to look out for you know these these videos aren't about look how look how horrible this is you've never seen anything like this before it's about crap like this right here look at this that dehumidifier is not condensating any water condensation pump needs to be cleaned out and you definitely shouldn't be sharing the discharge line from the dehu and the discharge line from the ac into one condensation pump with that little hose who knows where that goes there mm -mm -mm. hvac company usually knows that man they usually put their own little system there and they just run it out away from the home who did it first? People who did the encapsulation or the people who serviced the HVAC? Doesn't matter. There's some fungus right here. That's a lot. Yep. There we go. Yikes. That's a lot of fungus. A lot of reasons why you need to have everything intact. That dehumidifier needs to be running. Those vents definitely need to be sealed up. This water leak, look at this. This is a discharge line from that condensation pump. Not a, I don't even know where it's going. It needs to be going that way, where I'm looking at right now. That's, that's down the hill, which would be the front of the house. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Crawl Space Encounters. I appreciate you. God bless. Take care.